Hello, it's Virginia here. I just want to tell you guys about my, uh, zombie bear. Woo, hello. I just wanted to tell you a great idea for Valentine's to, uh, I don't know, take a bite out of this idea. Run with it. Not with scissors, though, that's dangerous. Um, yeah, this is a zombie bear that I made the love of my life. As you can see, I used some, uh, I don't even know what they're called. What are these things called? Some pipe cleaners in various colors. For his eyes, I stitched them around so it looks like he has that undead feel. And then pipe cleaners around. Now the really cool part about this teddy bear is his flesh. Because I wanted to get the look of like his stuffing coming out but not really ruin his stuffing. So this is a safer idea and he lasts longer. As you can see, for the leg, it looks like a pad. Just, um, forget that. Okay, it's not, I swear. I took a whole bunch of cotton balls, as you can see, and I got a mesh netting for it. Something that you put your delicates in and then toss them into the, um, the washer, you know, so they don't, like, they make bags, just, you'll find it. Mesh netting. Um, and so what I did is I took a whole bunch of little cotton balls, I stuffed them under it, and then I sewed the mesh netting on top, as you can see. I did the same thing um, for his head, and that's the stuffing, and for the back of his head, too. Yeah, and then I continued to just, um, I thought that smelly good markers were great, so I put some smelly good markers, like, to look like blood, and then I used some fake blood. Just be really careful, because the drawing time for the fake blood is, um, it's still sticky, and I wouldn't recommend ever washing this bear because it will fall apart. And the pipe cleaners might bite you. <laughs> Just kidding, they're pokey. But it could be a bite in the middle of the night. You never know, it's a zombie bear. Weird stuff happens. Um, so yeah, just put some fake blood. Remember to keep some stuffing so it looks like he's torn up. And then I just sewed it all together. It took about like a... Depending on how good of sewing you are, it took me like 20, 20 hours maybe, on and off took a lot of work. And then, for a bum leg, as you can see, one is longer than, one's longer than the other, I just sewed him up on one side with pipe cleaners. And then, for the added dramatic effect, I sewed it on this, brains, brains, hugs, and kisses, and sewed his little mouth shut so he looks like a zombie bear. And, uh, yeah, um, that's my zombie bear tutorial. Uh, make your own and make sure that, uh, next time you feel a little pinch in the middle of the night that it isn't zombie bear coming to take a bite out of you. Ah. Anyways, uh, give me some more ideas. The stuff you guys want to see. Bye!